been hunting for Indian artifacts and relics uh, for nine to 35 years now. Unbelievable to me. But at any rate, I found a lot of amazing things in that time. But when you're out um, hunting for artifacts and, and uh, fossils and relics, you can use all the help you can get. I never, uh, let, let me say this, I very rarely used a metal detector. I went on gut instincts. And very rarely was it wrong. However, there were a few times that um, <laughs> that I didn't even uh, have a chance to get a gut instinct about a site where they actually made significant finds um, because of a little furry helper that lives out there. I like to call him our four-legged furry um, natural archaeologist that God that God made, <laughs> and that is the groundhog. <clears throat> um, I did a couple videos a week or so ago on some really cool finds I found in groundhog burrows here in Saginaw. And then I did a video a while back, too, on an awesome pottery find up in Nascota that was also courtesy of a groundhog. So this video is dedicated to those cute little furry archaeologists that scurry around on top of the ground and have tunnels all over the place. And I'm very thankful that they deposit their dirt outside um, around the entryways so that it's easy to look for things. <laughs> but I decided I'd tell you a little bit about groundhogs. This is just going to be a short video. <clears throat> the groundhog is also called a woodchuck, and it's a member of the squirrel family. But the groundhog is about a foot long and too clumsy to climb trees. It digs a burrow in the ground, and the burrow has several rooms and usually two or three entrances. Groundhogs are found in fields and woods. Their favorite food is clover. Usually they eat in the early morning and late afternoon and then spend the rest of the time lying in the sun or sleeping in their burrows or digging up artifacts for people like me. In autumn, groundhogs prepare for the winter by eating a lot, a lot and getting very, very fat. Then they go into their burrows and hibernate. They go into a very deep sleep until warmer weather returns. When they leave their burrows in the spring, their weight is back to normal. Their bodies have used up the extra fat while they sleep. <laughs> Some people celebrate February 2nd as Groundhog Day. They believe that on this day, the groundhogs come out to check the, the weather. And according to legend, if the weather is cloudy and the groundhog does not see his shadow, spring will be early. If the day is sunny and the groundhog sees his shadow, cold weather will last six weeks more. But there is no proof that groundhogs are good weather forecasters, whereas there is lots of proof that they are good archaeologists. <clears throat> Thanks for taking a listen. I hope you enjoyed this short piece on my friends, the groundhogs.